we got some serious discussions right now, people. We need to ask this. Is a slime girl the best girl in Monster Moose Maid? Because we just saw her. We just saw it, and I'm just saying... We're still having very hard decisions uh, throughout this one. So put very hard definition on the hard decision right there. It's a slime girl. Her name's Sue, and she's absolutely adorable, guys. I think I might be dipping and diving into Sue being the best girl. <laughs> it's getting really bad now, but this entire episode... Holy shit, just what an absolute clusterfuck was it. The entirety of this episode being dedicated to just this one slime bitch, Sue. And just she just invades the fucking household like it's nothing. Just choking people with a fucking death dragon. Level. And the worst thing is like, hey, let's go and have a bath right now when we've got like a water slime thing in our house. Yeah, because you know, it's attracted to water. That's a good idea. And just the entire of these episodes, like, everyone is so against her, like, with me, apart from, like, Pappy, like, Pappy's, like, the only one that's, like, no, she's a friend, let's keep her in there, and it's just how this escalates with Sue, and she's, like, she's so, like, that's the thing, like, she doesn't know anything about, like, human life, so she's not clever at all, she's incredibly dumb, and there's just, like, one bit where she's just, like, brushing down the main protagonist, like, because she saw, like, Centoria and him, like, do that, and it's just, like, she doesn't know how to react to it. She doesn't feel any shame whatsoever because she's there. And I'm like, there, there's warnings. And this is the even bigger question. Does she even have the vagina? Like, I mean, they were covering like bits in there. But from what we've seen of her in the manga, she doesn't seem to have one. Not one bit. Like, neither. Well, she does have this. But it's like, like, it's very weird to see in this, like, series. It's like... I have to question that all the time. Like, is there an entire body of vagina like that? This is the this is the beautiful wonder of Musume, right? That you can just have these like imaginations. You know, I, I think I've done at least like at least six hours of contemplating <laughs> since like absolutely. Like, just like that. That's what just happens, you know. Sometimes you just like where the fuck. And like when we see like a lot of her, though, like it's really adorable. Obviously, like her and Sue, like um and Pappy have such an adorable bond together. Like they're there on the Wii just playing like that, even though they're trying to contemplate. Like, like we need to seriously need to get rid of the slime monster and those like the two are like playing like pretty much like Pappy feels like kinda of, like the older sister to like Sue and she's like doesn't know anything about that and she's like, No, I'll take care of though, you know, it's my responsibility, you know, I care for Sue like and it's just seeing her like she got really upset when they thought they were gonna get rid of her. And, like transport and they started playing it's like oh she's fun and you know sue's shown that she's a good person i mean she rescued a kid from those pieces of shit from the first episode like getting hit with a car and then even as well like when she fall off the bridge and she was like now nah, about to go into the uh, like the little river side and she was just like saying goodbye to like pappy and everyone it was just like no don't do that no no and then it was just the main character get the fucking car and then he just drives it in there it's like save sue and it's just like well, it's like we got a new, new kind of addition to the family, like by the, the effects of a slime monster, and not to mention from what we saw as well, from like how it went down. Next episode, it's like, oh, by the way, we can't tell Smith about this. Oh shit, Smith is at the front door right now. I mean, this is one of the magical things about Monster Moves, man. It's just like shit happens for reasons, and it's beautiful. And how this going with next week's episode? Yeah, don't expect we might be getting a little bit more. But just to clarify where we're at at the moment with the manga, because I had a quick little look. We're currently on episode 4, and we've got, like, two more chapters of this, which we'll cover up. So, episode 5 will cover up, like, two volumes of the manga, which, that's fucking great pacing, to be fair. I, like, five episodes, like, nearly, like, you know, um, like, a, a half of a season is pretty much two volumes. I think that's amazing. Like, that's pacing right there for a monthly series. If only other series, like, follow suit. And this doesn't really have those long panels or anything like that. This has, like, like 29 pages of fucking panel, and even some series just have like 40 pages and yet they still somehow manage to fuck that up like i don't get that like with some series like that but never mind that i love this episode i'm contemplating about sue being best girl i mean with the rubbing down and everything and like you can literally go face through her boobs it's a beautiful moment for me and i don't know i feel like she's pretty much juvia if juvia was a monster girl from like fairy tale and i'm like I can accept this in my life. I can definitely accept this. And I think this episode deserves like an 8.5. I thought it was amazing. Like really good. A little bit of censorship here and there. But I've kind of like really ignored it after a while. Besides I don't really want to see him that much. I've got the fucking manga here. So it's like eh, I can just fucking read it whenever. But um, yeah that's all for me. I want to thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next.